Today I want to take you guys through a full back and bicep workout step by step and just really walk you guys through everything that I do. So uh, first we start out with the resistance band, attach it to a pull-up bar and we're going to do about 15 to 20 reps for three sets. Pulling down like this, it's really going to get the lats firing, get the lats activated so it's a little bit easier to feel the muscle working once we start doing our working sets. And I want to give a shout out to Omar Esau. Uh, I saw this on his channel and ever since I've been incorporating it and I absolutely love it. So three sets of 15 to 20 and the first exercise we're going to do is pull-ups. So. Uh, a lot of the exercises we're doing today are going to be five total sets, and I like to kind of change up my rep scheme during the set. So I'm doing three sets of five reps with weight. So you, hear, you see here I have the brute belt, so I have about 30 pounds attached to me. And I do three sets with weight, and then I'm going to drop the weight down and do two sets of body weight. So uh, going to complete failure. So five total sets, three sets with weight, and then two sets of just body weight. As far as grip goes, some people prefer a very wide grip. Uh, personally, I don't feel my lats contracting and I feel like I'm not getting the four inch of motion when I go extremely wide. So I choose a little bit more of a neutral grip. So be sure you're experimenting with your grip, find what works for you and find where you kind of feel the most contraction and stretch on your lats. So for me, it's a little bit closer. And for the second exercise, moved on to uh, five sets of a T-bar row. So again, um, I like to do three sets of close grip and then two sets of wide grip. So kind of changing up the grip. But if you notice, we're kind of sticking to some bread and butter movements. Bread and butter movements focus on getting better at them, increasing your weight, and progressive overloading over time. So um, here I'm just doing three plates for about 10 reps. So 10 reps is kind of my goal uh, for each and every set. And then if I, for example, on the wide grip, I dropped the weight a little bit and I was able to do a few more than 10, so I did. So therefore, give yourself a range. You know, say, all right, if it's a little bit heavy, I'll go eight. But if I get 12 or 13, it's okay. There's no specific, your body doesn't know the difference in 12 and 13 reps. It knows the time under, or the tension that it's under. So um, three sets close, two sets wide. If you don't have this machine, you can always do uh, just you know set up a bar in the corner, put a dumbbell on it, and do a T-bar row like that using a close grip V-bar. Um, for the next movement, exercise number three, we moved on to some standing barbell bicep curls. Some tips on this. Flex your tricep at the bottom of the movement, and if you want, and if you if you know what perfect form is, you can use a little bit of a sway to help get the weight up on a few sets, uh, just to be lifting more weight for a few sets, and then obviously do a few sets strict form. But um, I wouldn't recommend cheating on every single set. But I do like going a little bit heavier on a few sets and using some momentum just to get the weight up. Make sure your back does not pass perpendicular, and you're not arching backwards and uh, putting yourself at a risk of injury. So. Next exercise, we did a vertical pull down. Now, I wrote vertical pull down because it doesn't necessarily matter what grip you choose. Um, I do recommend kind of changing up the grip, but for this workout, I used a neutral grip uh, on this handlebar and for three sets. And again, I changed it up for the last two sets since we did five total sets and did a close grip for higher reps. So with this bar, I was doing about 10 to 12 reps. And then I changed the grip, um, which you'll see in this next clip right here. Give me a second. One, two, three, go. And I did 15 reps here, so there's nothing wrong with going a little bit higher rep. Really feel that burn. And 15 reps is kind of where I cap off my rep scheme. Um, if I'm doing strength training or trying to get stronger, I'll you know kind of stick with even two to I would say six reps. Usually I stick within three to six. And then if I'm really focusing on gaining size, putting on mus muscular, muscular size and hypertrophating the muscles, anywhere from six to 12, even 15 reps. So for the last back movement, we moved on to hammer strength row. And again, I did three sets of an isolateral, meaning three sets with a single arm, and then two sets with the arms together. Uh, love, love this machine. It's always good to get some individual arm uh, work on your back workout. So. Focus on pulling through your elbow and all these back movements, especially single arm, pulling through your elbow and pulling backwards so you can activate the lat as opposed to pulling, really gripping tight and pulling with your biceps. So uh, for the last two exercises, we are doing two bicep movements. A preacher curl right here. A few tips on this is again, try it. You can even uh, flex your tricep on this movement and be sure you're getting the full range of motion and also dig your armpits into the pad. That's going to allow you to really lock in your form and not allow yourself to cheat using your front delt and use any momentum. So. Um, here I'm using like 20 or 25 pounds, I'm not sure exactly what dumbbells they were, going for about 8 reps. And then I want to show you guys, I do, depending on what I'm doing, if I'm not strength training, I will adjust my weight accordingly. So if I hit 8 reps, and like here you see that grinder right there, I barely got that 8 reps, I had to drop the weight down. So here, this is my fourth and final set, so drop the weight down all the way to 15 pounds. So just to show you guys that there's no shame in dropping your weight, focus on the form and focus on getting your muscle working and you're going to see the most amazing results. So four sets there. And to finish off some dumbbell hammer curl, working on the brachialis. And when you build this muscle, it's almost like 
I know this kind of bro science terms, but if you're facing yourself from the front, it almost helps with the thickness and the width of your arms. So it gives it that kind of look. So again, uh, doing both arms at the same time, so you are doing a little bit lower weight, uh, but absolutely amazing exercise. Flex your tricep at the bottom, and that's really gonna include the workout. I, of course, did a few sets of standing calf at the end of this. And as always, thank you all so much for the support. You can check out ChristianNewsBond.com to see my eight and 12 week macro coach packages along with 90 day transformations and meal workout plan and all my apparel. And this Proud But Never, Never Satisfied t-shirt comes out late next week. So keep an eye out for that and I will catch you on the next video.